So it's been a few months since we last uh, talked about the River Project and what's going on out here. And actually a lot has happened uh, over the past few months. And as you said, our last uh, segment was back in January. And as you see, a lot of bank stabilization has happened. That, of course, is the, the bulk of our project. There's a lot of other fun things going along with that, but uh, bank stabilization is one of the key components and one of the most important things because obviously the banks were falling off and as a result, we were losing trees and, and the, the river kept filling with a lot of material. Uh, since that time, we've also uh, increased the scope of the project. Uh, we had an alternate bid for some additional bank stabilization bank stabilization from basically sulfur draw um, back towards Central High School. Originally we had not taken that because the cost was uh, too great, uh, but since the contractors have got in and done a lot of the work, uh, we asked them to relook at that uh, portion of the project uh, because they know a, a lot more now about what is comprised of the banks and, and how to stabilize those. And so they were able to drastically reduce um, that cost. And so now we have added back into the project uh, the bank stabilization from Sulphur Draw to uh, over by Central High School. So that's one of the big components that has, has gone on. It did extend uh, the length of the project a little bit. And so now our uh, project is scheduled to be complete um, the, uh, toward the end of next summer. And so we're kind of looking forward to that. The guys have gotten very, very good, and Reese Albert's done a great job working with us on the bank stabilization. And they're moving very quickly. As you'll see uh, some footage of a lot of the bank stabilization that we've added on, uh, they've gotten very good at, at maneuvering that bank and placing the rock. So you'll see that, that bank stabilization completing, hopefully, this winter. Uh, you'll notice that the river has been lowered, uh, but we've been able to, working with them, retain a lot of the water in the river uh, so it maintains a good look for us and, and is good for the trees as well. Um, so you'll be seeing that finishing up uh, this winter. Uh, but at the same time, you're going to see a lot of the, the nicer, more aesthetic elements starting to go in. Um, so over on the Irving Street Bridge, uh, currently you'll see them working on that, uh, putting up the railing. You'll also see right, what's right now, cinder block columns that have gone up, but those are fixing to be faced with stone, uh, they'll have uh, light uh, globes on top of them. And then in the end, they'll have uh, stone uh, carved reliefs that go in those. So you're going to see a lot of that. Um, currently, uh, most of the lighting is up. Uh, so those uh, will be turned on periodically to light the trail system. But we'll have those totally operating uh, by the time we want to reopen the park for pedestrian use. Um, in addition to those uh, components, uh, you'll see some other features uh, going up, the trail work. Um, you'll also see the games area as it starts to be worked on um, and some other aesthetic elements uh, that are really going to make the project have a finished look. In regard to a lot of the uh, landscaping that's planned uh, for the river project as a whole, uh, a lot of that will be uh, happening later on. We of course have plans for that and, and funding for it. Uh, but due to the drought situations and, and the water uh, circumstances, we want to make sure we do that at a time where it's, it's going to make sense and, and when we plant those things that they're going to uh, survive and, and be able to be watered uh, at least initially uh, to get them established. Uh, you'll also see a lot of areas along the river where we've used xeriscape and so you'll see areas where we've used decomposed granite uh, for our surfacing or in places where we're going to have beds and you have native plant materials along with those. Um, so the project really takes into account uh, those things and while we would really like to finish it off with our plantings, uh, we really need to be prudent about that and, and time it appropriately to where our water situation in San Angelo is good and we know we can maintain those plants once they're put in place. We, one of the key components along the river, of course, is to reestablish our uh, water features. And uh, we had some of those that existed before. Uh, most of them weren't operating uh, very well, or some of them were in the point of, of having uh, stability problems and, and falling off into the river. So you see a lot of those have been either reworked or uh, some removed and others added too. But one of the things we suffered with over time is we had a series of pumps. Um, that maintained the water to those features. And that was always a problem because they were smaller pumps, they would go out. Uh, so what we've done is implemented a one large pumping station for all of the fountains. Um, you'll see it over near the Oak Street Bridge. 
and it'll have some additional features on it to help it blend in a little better. But it's a large pumping station that also, as it pulls the water in, it helps to filter that water so that um, as the water is fed to the fountains, uh, not as much debris accumulates in them, keeping them cleaner and, and looking a lot better. Uh, another goal was to have the water flow to those fountains uh, much more forceful so that uh, you'll see when they're flowing it's not just a, a small trickle but it actually produces quite a bit of water. That not only helps uh, keep them clean but it also helps uh, to aerate the river uh, more effectively and, it, and it's good for our uh, fish and aquatic life uh, in the river. As we took on this project along the river we had uh, several funding sources and of course the largest being the half-cent sales tax which the citizens uh, supported and passed this being one of the major projects. In addition to that we got funding from the San Angelo Health Foundation, we got funding from the Texas Parks and Wildlife, we also got funding from the NEA, the National Endowment for the Arts. And so uh, we had hoped to work in some art features into the project anyway, but that allowed us to do even a little more. And we partnered uh, with uh, the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts. And then we had a, a group of a local artists, uh, Art in Uncommon Places, who worked with us, who have done a lot of the features you'll see as you move along. We, we've kind of, I think, uh, started the groundwork uh, for the art to happen, and we hope that's going to expand over the years uh, that come because there's a lot of places where the art can be placed all up and down the river. It makes it much more interesting as you walk along. There, there are art pieces to look at. Um, so you'll see a lot of those. Art in Uncommon Places has, has placed several. We have murals that are up on the sides uh, of our bridges and, and then other art pieces along the trails themselves. And so we really hope to expand upon that uh, over the years and, and continue to build upon that art uh, that gives it a sense of